This is a nice game to, oh, to, to try to hit each other. Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are going to test the brand new Royal Paddle Anavasarios. So let's have a look how easy these rackets will actually play from defense. So there are three versions. The light version. This is something that you want to use if you have a lot of pain in your arm to switch to an even lighter racket because this will help you a lot to solve many, many balls. If you're not hitting the ball extremely well, if your contact point is not always correct, then you should play with the light. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a giveaway. Comment below what racket you want to win. The light, the hybrid, or the Anavasario polyethylene. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Otro Nivel Padel, and like and follow Royal Paddle Instagram. If you want to win, comment before the 20th of December, 12 o'clock. If you are later than that, I'm sorry, you cannot win. We are going to announce the winner on that day on the Instagram of Royal Paddle. So watch Royal Paddle Instagram. Uh, and that's it. Vamos! It's easier to maneuver the racket around in comparison to last year. And this is the polyethylene version. It goes deep into my racket. This is what I like about the racket. Nice. You can, oh, great folly. I think it would be a good racket Wow, the light is a good racket for you, I think, Sas. Look at this ball. Holy moly. Don't give her too many compliments, she will destroy you. Everybody said, yeah, I need a hard racket, but I also want an arm-friendly racket. Listen, that's not possible. It's either powerful or it's arm-friendly. It's not both. You have two types of rackets, in my opinion. You have the, the plank, so the ball goes onto the racket, bang and it goes away. If you volley like this, you need a hard racket because you're just going to hit it like a plank. If you want to play correctly with the soft racket, you need to let it happen. The, the racket will suck in the ball and launch it to the other side of the net. And that's what makes, I think, the polyethylene version very, very nice because it goes deep into the racket when I'm playing in defense. But I don't know about the volleys. So now the hybrid. Uh, this has also FA soft. Nice. Haha. <laughs> oh. This one feels a little bit more stiff to me, more more mass. More of a, a powerful. Yes. Like pan. It feels like this racket wants me to go to do that. In defense, this is my favorite. This one. Huh. It's very easy to control. So the shape of the Anavasarios is round and the balance is low, which means this is a control racket. Punto! This is my racket. So Sasha, my girlfriend, uh, she liked the, the light version a lot because she could get it deeper. So with a lighter racket, she could play deeper into the court. So it doesn't always mean you need to have a, um, a heavy racket to play fast. If you have a light racket, the arm will go. If your racket is too light, you need to force too much. So you need to have a correct weight. So test rackets and light, it doesn't mean actually that you have less power. It means that you can play the ball everywhere you want. The Anavasarios are control rackets because it's round shaped, it's, it's not teardrop, it's not diamond. I believe that with round shaped rackets you can still play quite aggressive, but let's find out. Anavasario hybrid, follies. Ooh. This feels nice. Out. Yes. 
This is a Shooks ball. Blech. Ladies and gentlemen, these must be one of the worst balls in the world. Never buy this. Totally crap. Blech. Ah, look at the slice. Boopadel Pro Balls. For me, the, one of the best. If you want me to do a, a ball tester, let me know. Huts. 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 I don't lose rallies like this. So the deep volleys were amazing with the hybrid, which makes sense because it's more powerful because it has an EVA soft and polyethylene. But for Sasha, it was like that the light version that she was playing deeper with that. So uh, for you, it can be different. The block volleys were very easy. If you play fast to me, I don't care. Hop. Up. Yeah, you just need to block it a little bit. The massive slice shot. Uh, this uh, it is slightly too stiff for this. So if you play the drop shot with this racket, soft, not the. I was missing the drop shot a little bit with it, this one. The hybrid feels amazing, but it's slightly more stiff. Uh. Hot sicky day. So why? are the Anafasarios the most arm-friendly rackets in the world. That's because it has a double bridge here in the bottom, which absorbs a lot of the shock. The technology that Royal Paolo uses is polyethylene. The polyethylene is making sure that it absorbs all of the shock when the ball hits the racket. Okay, so now the polyethylene version, which is softer, so let's check if the stop volley goes better with, it, with that one. Ooh! Yeah, this one goes deeper into the racket. Deeper than the, than the hybrid. Oh, this is, feels so good. This is the one, this is the one. I like this one more in, in volleys. I just do this, the ball goes deep. I, I, this is for lazy people, look. That's it. It's not even new balls. Not even new balls. Let's check some drop shots. If Sasha plays over the net. Wow. Hot sikide. Hmm. I think with the hybrid, the drop shots were easier. But, oh. This one goes deep into the racket. It feels like you have a lot of control when you play those deep shots. These ones work. I like mostly round shaped rackets with control. And I am kind of moving away to teardrop rackets now. Uh, I feel like it gets me a little bit more, but maybe the Anafasados will surprise me in how easy it is to smash and to bandeja. Look at the follies. Oh. So the upgrade in design for me is amazing. So they definitely look at weapons, if you ask me. The light version. So why should you play light? Let's find out. This is a nice game, so, oh, to, to try to hit each other. Yes. Ha ha ha. Control. Mucho control. Hats. Adios. Not the best drop shot in the world, but. Nice defense. Yeah, this is very similar to the to the golden one. Hot. 
same length. I can feel, I can feel why it's easy to maneuver. Yeah, volley's nice, volley's nice. Up, this is, this is okay. But still, I think with the, um, with the hybrid, the Anavisado hybrid, I could, uh, I was playing better drop shots. So the Anavisados now have the 3D surface. And before, they had the rough surface. So let's find out today if this makes the ball spin more or that the sandpaper makes the ball spin more. So now I'm going to do the Vibora with the light version. And I made some changes in the Vibora. I'm now going to prepare a little bit more behind my, my head, not, a, not as high as I usually do. Uh, and try to generate some more slice. So I want to see if the 3D surface is going to make my Vibora slice more. Because that's interesting. I think it didn't slice so much more with drop shots. So let's check in the Viboras. Nice. 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 I like this. I think it's quite good. Some smashes. Note that today is very, very cold here. It's two degrees in Holland. I am freezing my nuts off and we just arrived back from Spain from 24 degrees last week. And I don't like it here now. I uh, lose a little bit of control with the smash. But I just have to smash a little bit softer, I think. Can you do one where I play so softer? So soft with a lot of kick. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sandpaper will not last forever. So it's very, very good that the racket now has 3D surface. Polyethylene version of the Anavasario. How does it feel with the Vibora? And how does it feel with the kick smash? <sighs> what a boom! <sighs> wow! <sighs> nice! I like it. A lot of rotation, not even new balls. Yeah. Kick smash. A lot of kick. Much better, much better. Yeah, because now with the kick smash it goes really well. Yeah, two in a row. I lose a little bit of control when I play fast. If I play kick, the ball goes out. So this means is you have to use the racket in a gentle way. All of these models have fiber tech technology. So that's a reinforced fiberglass. And fiberglass is a very, very flexible material. And if you reinforce that, you have the flexibility of fiberglass and you're going to the power of carbon. It's not the power of carbon, so don't expect to hit kick smashes if you play with the Anavasarios out of the court, but expect that you will not have any pain in your arm. So this is the hybrid version of the Anavasario, which means it's an FA soft, so it has extra power. So let's see how much power and how much more it will give me in comparison to the softer versions. My new Vibora feels well. Yeah, okay, give me some shots. Behind the head. A lot of, ooh, rotation. Oh, nice. Okay, one uh, deeper. I need to play a little bit deeper in the, in this. I need some length. No, I need more length. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, kick smash. Is it going to give me more power? That's nice. It went up a lot. Flattish. I don't like flat. Wow, that had a lot of rotation. Kick is much better. One more. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yes. 
So I was missing the accuracy a little bit. Also because I'm not the best timer of the world. Let's rate the records. So in defense, what number do I give it one out of 10? Four. The light version, super easy to maneuver. In defense, I would say 7.5 out of 10. It's very light, it's easy to maneuver, but for me, it is too light. So this, I think, is better for somebody that is a little bit less strong as I am. So I like this one the most. So it's all personal preference as well. Polyethylene, very nice, eight out of 10. Easy to play with. The ball goes deep into the racket. You can play soft, fast, anything you can do with the racket from defense, super nice. Hybrid, what number does hybrid get? For me, I actually had more control in defense with a harder racket. Uh, I could feel like I could hit the ball as hard as I could. Uh, I think this is an 8.5 8 out of 10 in defense. Follies. Uh, in my opinion, the light version, I could get the ball deep into the court, a lot of control, still some power, easy to maneuver. I would say 7.5 at the net. Polyethylene, more powerful than the other one, 8.0 out of 10 at the net. Hybrid, 8.5 at the net. I could play better drop shots than the other ones, and I could feel that the rough surface, sandpaper, gives more effect than the 3D surface. But the sandpaper does not last forever, so for me, the 3D surface wins against the rough sandpaper surface. Bandejas, all very similar. I would say both of those, 7.5 7 out of 10. A lot of control, a lot of slice, also the same. Yeah. Kick smashes, 7.3 7 out of 10. These are the same, but the weight is different. 7.8, 7.2. The polyethylene went more out of the court than the hybrid. And I don't know why. With the hybrid, I could feel that I was rotating the ball a lot, but it didn't went out. With the poly, I had a little bit more control because I think with the poly, the ball goes deeper into the racket. So maximum effect with the kick smash, I would definitely say that the polyethylene wins from the hybrid. So I would say, if you want to play with these rackets, everybody can use those rackets. It is super easy to play with. If you are a hard hitter, somebody that wants to destroy and kill your opponent with fast smashes and hard follies, I would say that you should try the new R line of Royal Paddle and maybe especially the Ace because it's more teardrop shaped racket. If you are looking for control, the Anafasadios I think are the best options. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Hasta luego, ciao, adios.